Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can unlock the x-axis, let's go to controls, on your Holtas 4, Holtas 1, Holtas X. It should all work for them. Let's go to sensitivity, let me grab my camera and here we are, here's my Holtas 4 joystick. Now. Most sensitivities work as they should. The Y axis, the X, and left, right, up, down. The throttle axis, the Z axis. If we scroll down here, you'll notice that we've got a few other axes. Now, I'm going to concentrate mainly on the Z and X slider in this video. There's a little rudder control here, or rocker switch. If I move that left and right, you can see that Z axis working. If I move, if I twist the joystick, it controls the same axis, which is essentially your rudder axis. I want to be able to be, I want to be able to unlock that X slider, so I can use this rocker switch for something else other than the rudder. So in this video, I'm going to show you how. Okay, so let's get straight to this, as I'm sure a lot of you will appreciate. What you want to do is go to Control Panel. In Control Panel, whatever whole task you've got there should show up. Right click, go to Game Control Settings, and this little box should pop up. Go to Properties, and then you'll have all your usual controls. You can test your throttle, your hat switch, and goodness knows what. On the Holtas, at least on the Holtas 4, likely the Holtas X and Holtas 1, you'll have these little menus at the top here, or these little options. You've got 4 stroke 6 axis mode, or 5 stroke, is that 5 stroke 8 axis mode? If you choose the bottom one, 5 stroke 8 axis mode. Now, if you go back to Flight Simulator, and go back to sensitivities and scroll down you will notice the rocker switch so the rocker switch will be here on the Holtas is controlling the X slider <coughs> excuse me sorry and the twist axis is controlling your rudder as normal I'm gonna actually show you this in flight to show you it working so the twist axis is you is controlling my rudder. The X axis is now free to be bound to one of your controls or one of your control services. Let's go back. I've actually already done this Un under control trimming services. My rocker switch on my throttle. I've actually got trim nails down. Move the rocker switch to the left, which I'm doing at the moment. Trim nails up move the rocker switch to the right so I've actually got it bound to elevator trim nails down and trim nails up which I find very useful because you often got your hand on the throttle let's show you this in flight okay yep you've guessed it I'm at London City Airport again <laughs> in the Cessna 172 let's throttle up and release my parking brake. Now I'm twisting my joystick using a twist method to control my rudder. And that's all working well. I may do a different video in the future to show you specific rudder settings and sensitivity settings. I've got that on other videos, go and browse them, but I may do another one because a lot of people are interested in the rudder. That's enough, I'll take off, pull my joystick back. Now I'm using the rocker switch now on my throttle. I'm actually trimming nose up. Keep an eye on this little gauge here, little marker. I'll go nose up, see it rise. There you go. I'll use the rocker switch to the left to trim down a bit because I don't want to be trimming up too much. And it all works fine. And I can still use that twist action to help with rudder control as I'm doing a little bit there. 
and it's all working well so let's trim down by moving my rocker switch to the left and hey presto it all works as should be so that's how you would free up your X slider on your Holtas 4, Holtas X or Holtas 1. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Has this been helpful to you? Give the video a like if it has. Subscribe for more, many more flight simulator videos on the way of course. And I'll see you soon.